It's less than a week to go to Christmas and uh, it's very green down here in British Columbia and the Okanagan. Very little snow. So today as the temperature hovers around 3 degrees Celsius, I'm going to go for a drive up towards Myra Canyon and see what it's like. I believe I might be able to get above the clouds, but uh, I'm not sure. I filled up the car today and the price of a liter of gas in the Okanagan is between $1 and 6.9 and $1 and 9.9 .9 a liter. And that is anywhere uh, to even 40 cents down to what it was uh, at its height. It is definitely noticeable on a tank, but uh, Still curious about how long the price of gas will stay down that low. I don't think anything is predictable today. And even though the experts are saying that it's going to stay down for uh, the foreseeable future, meaning uh, 2015, any time, anything can happen and the price shoots up. The road has been cleared plowed but it is ice on it I guess what's melted the Toyota Highlander sport we have is four-wheel drive all-wheel drive steady and we do have four winter tires on it so it's kind of like I'll see how it goes for how long I never like to push things I don't want to take chances and you know, get stuck or whatever. It's not a fun thing. People have been going off that way and searching. I wonder if hunting season is still open. I don't hunt, just with a camera. There is a fresh dusting of snow on the road. I just seen some tracks in it. And not the tire tracks that I'm covering, but there were some other tracks crossing the road. Kind of funny, when I was young, I never hesitated to go up into unbelievable conditions, driving up into mountains, even with a car. I drove a Camaro up such a road that uh, I couldn't turn around and had to back down for in reverse for, I don't know, a couple of miles. And uh, when I got down to the bottom, I opened up the uh, hood of the, end of the car it was packed full of snow, just jam-packed. because the clouds are socked in pretty low over uh, the Okanagan Valley and uh, it looked like they were 
low along the mountainside, so I kind of figured that not too far up I'd be above it, but or into it anyway, the fog and cloud. But it has eluded me so far. Interesting. I imagine one vehicle went up and then they came back down already, so it's not much traffic up here. I'm three kilometers up from the main road now, there's a sign, and I think it's eight kilometers to the top, so it's another five kilometers to go. Not very far. Lots of rabbit tracks along the road, so they would have been out probably at daybreak. This is where I filmed rabbits in the fall in the evening, just after people have left Myra Canyon. Uh, rabbits came out in the parking lot and they were running around. It's one degree Celsius here, so it's not freezing. If anything, it's drizzly rain starting to happen. One of the oddities, well, it's not odd, it's just that animals like to stay hidden, is that up in the mountains of British Columbia, in the summertime, you got bears and stuff like that that are out, and groundhogs, marmots, all of which hibernate. But in the wintertime, you still have animals like uh, Cougar, bobcat, lynx, things that do not hibernate. They're out year round. You just don't get to see them. They're, they're around. They don't want to be seen. You can hear a vehicle far away and they disappear in the woods. The vehicle that went up ahead of me had obviously been spinning its tires along here, which means it was probably a pickup truck in two-wheel drive. And uh, that does make a difference. That's what my previous vehicles used to be, is uh, when I had trucks were two-wheel drive, with uh, four wheels so you could just knock the lever and kick it into four wheel drive if you needed it but if you didn't it was in two wheel drive for less wear and tear and uh, better fuel economy the Highlander is in four wheel drive steady lots of little tracks now crisscrossing the road here and there uh, it could be anything from rabbits to uh, squirrels and stuff like that. You can tell the rabbit tracks because their hind feet are 
a lot larger and they hop along so not rocket science you don't have to be a tracker or anything like that Uh, drifting a little bit there it wasn't even going fast and the front end seemed to be plowing a bit very beautiful along here though because now we've got frost or snow on the mount on the trees so it gives it a pretty ambience and same with the trees up ahead we're now at zero degrees so this is the crossover temperature I'm up at six uh, kilometers and uh, it's a crossover temperature when you start having frost and that gives the effect on the trees. But I haven't gotten into the fog, the low clouds, it's really interesting. We travel this road many times during the year, coming up in the summertime, well, it's early spring when the flowers, the uh, wildflowers start blooming. It's, it's quite beautiful up here. And then in the summertime, fall, and uh, I think this is probably all the latest that I've been up. It's uh, less than a week till uh, Christmas. Normally you'd have a lot more snow up here, wouldn't be? Well, there are people still come up here snowmobiling and stuff like that. But other than that, uh, you know, you're not coming up here to go biking or uh, hiking, whatever. And snow, snowshoeing would be okay. There is cloud below me, but no sun above me. Or not, I didn't get above the clouds into the sun. something there because they stopped and backed up a bit might be hunters but what are they hunting at this time of the year I think the deer and moose season are long closed there's no bear out here unless, I don't know I don't know what they was up to then again, there are people that do poach animals and don't give a really a rat's, you know, what about what season it is and what's out there. Ah, I see a predator, a bird of prey up on a treetop. That's not a bird of prey, it's a crow, but I'll get a shot of it. There it is. Very pretty, very little snow.